This is what we would call a standard mahogany campaign chest. Or as the makers, the junior army and navy store, called it in their catalogue, uh, a set of plain drawers. And they offered a chest like this in either mahogany or teak at £6. The price was the same for either timber. And by plain, they meant that it didn't have a secretaire drawer. Quite often with a campaign chest, you might see it's got a long secretaire drawer or a short secretaire drawer. This doesn't have any secretaire. It's all plain drawers. And fairly standard in design, you've got three long drawers, two to the bottom section, one to the top section, and two short drawers to the top. And they also sold it with lever locks. But if you wanted to pay 15 shillings extra, you could get a Brahma lock fitted, which obviously was much stronger and more secure. Now, this chest has always had a Brahma lock to it. Um, it's a little bit short on its cutout to the interior, but we've had it off and uh, there's only one set of screw holes. Whether it's been replaced or not, we're never going to be 100% sure. But certainly everything else about it lines up and fits. So the Junior Army and Navy Store. Well, let's bring you in a little bit and you can have a look at the label. We can also have a look at the drawer and we can tell you a little bit about the company. So here's the escutcheon for the Brahma lock. And we can see that um, the hole hasn't been adjusted to take the lock. We can see there's no markings to the top here where the lock might have been forced and so replaced. And we can also see the Brahma marks to the top of the lock. But you'll see that the cutout to the timber to receive the lock is a little bit bigger than the actual lock. But actually it's the same size as the cutouts to the rest of the drawers made to take uh, lever locks. So possibly they cut them all out and then when the customer decided he wanted a Brahma, um, they, uh, they changed it and they put a Brahma lock in. We'll never know for sure, um, but that sounds reasonable to me. So the drawer linings are um, in ash, quite nice cut dovetails there you can see, but the base of the drawer looks to be in teak. So, onto the Junior Army and Navy store. And here's their label, which says York House, Regent Street, London. And um, they were founded by Major Clench as a cooperative society and started trading in November 1879. Now, many people think that they were part of the Army and Navy uh, store, that they were an offshoot. But they weren't. They were formed in direct competition to the Army and Navy store. Um, and there's no doubt that their choice of name was to ride off the back of the success of the uh, Army and Navy Cooperative Society, who had already been established uh, for eight years and were doing quite well. Well, the Army and Navy store didn't like this use of their name. And they took the junior Army and Navy store to court to try and stop them from using the name but they were unsuccessful. And the reason that they were unsuccessful was the judge ruled that because they were both cooperative societies and so could only sell to their members, there would be no confusion as to who was who because you were either members of one or the other and you knew which one. So um, the Army and Navy store lost that little battle and the junior Army and Navy store could keep the name. But as years went on, they became more established. They tended to use uh, that name less, and they tended to use the name York House, which is on the label on this chest, more and more. And the name York House comes from the building that their shop was at, and that was number 15 Regent Street in London. And number 15 Regent Street was quite a grand five-storey um, property um, where they had lots and lots of space to uh, 
sell all of the same sort of things that the Army and Navy store did. So, let's sum this up. This is a mahogany standard campaign chest, or plain drawers, as York House called it. It's going to be late 19th century in date, um, maybe 1885, 1890, somewhere round about there. Um, and if you're looking to buy a campaign chest, well, this is quite an affordable and nice example.